Jay Weatherall's launched an attack on his Victorian counterpart, saying he warned the Liberal Premier Holden would close, but was repeatedly ignored. The claim followed Dennis Natvine's suggestion South Australia was dragging the chain on automotive transformation funding. Victoria's Liberal Premier fired the first salvo. The South Australian Government have been absolutely recalcitrant and they have not put one dollar on the table. A claim Mr Weatherill denies releasing a letter sent to the Federal Government offering $12 million if Canberra increases its contribution. Poor old Dennis has been asleep at the wheel while we've been out there promoting the interests of the automotive sector. He says he repeatedly warned Dr Napthine Holden and Toyota would close. He suggested to me that um, this didn't seem like much of a risk from his perspective. Mr Weatherill happy to dish the dirt after Dr Napthine hurled the first grenade. I was content to uh, leave his uh, uh, sloth uh, something that was not a, a subject of public comment. A former Victorian Premier is also offering free advice, although Jeff Kennett's counsel to the state Liberals might be taken with a grain of salt after their election loss. With due respect to you, you have no idea what advice I gave. But he does concede he urged holding off on policy. Uh, yeah, but I always agree with that. No, no, I, th I think that's right. Uh, I'm only a pensioner an ageing pensioner. I'd be very surprised if anyone took any notice of me whatsoever. I certainly don't hold Jeff uh, Kennett in any way responsible uh, for the, uh, the strategy that we took to the 2014 election. Stephen Marshall also sticking with the front bench he took to the election. The lineup unveiled today virtually unchanged. The people in South Australia voted overwhelmingly for this team. The team that he presented to the election uh, was not persuasive for change. And state political reporter Tom Richardson joins us now. Tom, is this a wise move by Stephen Marshall? Yeah, it's certainly an interesting move designed to project the notion of a united team, as the Liberal leader says, on a war footing. The Liberals believe the government may not serve a full term and they want to show they're ready to govern. But at the same time, many of their senior players are over 60 and will be closer to retiring than governing when the next election comes round. So they have missed an opportunity to promote some younger blood. After all, guys, Stephen Marshall himself was a new MP only four years ago. He sure was. Thank you very much, Tom.